Hello and welcome everybody, it's your boy KB and today I'm gonna show you how to keep your PC running fast and smooth. So as you guys know, when you buy the new computer or laptop, it runs fast and feels really smooth. But after you use it for a long time, like one year, maybe even after a month, you may feel that your PC is getting slower and slower. So in this video, I'm gonna share my secret, how do I keep my PC running fast and smooth so you guys can follow the same steps and make your PC run fast. Things I do to make my PC run fast are really simple and uh, I'm hoping that you guys will not have any problem to follow my steps. So first thing to make my PC run fast, I use the Windows Task Manager. And if you don't know how to use the Windows Task Manager, you cannot make your PC run fast. So first we are gonna learn how to use the Windows Task Manager. You can open the Windows Task Manager by doing the search Task Manager or you can right click on the taskbar and there you'll have option Task Manager. You just have to click on it and it will open the Task Manager. If you see your Task Manager like this in small window, then you just have to click on more details and it will bring the bigger window. Here you have to know little things about your processors and RAM. So you see these numbers here, CPU, memory, disk and network. All these numbers are showing how much of your CPU, RAM or disk is being used by uh, the softwares. So if you see this number is going higher, that means something is running in the background and making your PC slow. So as you can see right now, my CPU usage is about 20 to 25 and my memory, which is my RAM, is being used 45%. So that, that means there are some softwares which is running in background and taking my resources. If I'm not using any software in my computer, then my CPU would be around 10 to 15% and memory around 20%. That means something is running in background. So using the task manager, you can actually monitor how your CPU and RAM is being used by other software. So you can see 22% of CPU is being used by other softwares. So as you can see camera application, I'm recording webcam with camera application. So camera is using around 10% of my CPU. And I'm also recording the desktop using OBS Studio which is using around 7%. It's like 7 plus 10, 17. So you can see the 17% of CPU is being used because I meant to use them because I'm recording the screen and OBS is using some of my CPU and I'm also recording my webcam and webcam camera application is also using some of my CPU. So if I'm not using this that means my CPU and memory level will be lower. Let me give you the example. I'm gonna open the Google Chrome and if we see on the task manager, you can see Google Chrome is using around 30% of my CPU. That means I'm using the Google Chrome, that's why my CPU is being used and if I'm using lots of softwares at once, my computer will get slower because it can't handle lots of softwares because there is a limitation of every computer. It can only run certain amount of softwares at once. So that's why your PC gets slower. That is the first reason, but if you're not using any software and still your PC is getting slower, that means something is running in background so you just have to identify these numbers you can see cpu memory and disk so if you see your cpu is going above 20 without using any software then you have to scroll down and identify which software is using your cpu and ram in higher percentage without your notice so you have to find that software so i don't have any bad softwares which can use uh, my CPU and RAM in background. So for example, let's say I'm gonna find one software here Let's say this example Free download manager. It is running in background and it is using 0% of my CPU and really few of my RAM So let's say for example, it's using 20% of my CPU and 300 megabyte of my RAM so I will find this software and end this end task 
and uh, after that if I can I will uninstall this software by going into the control panel I will uninstall the software because it is running in background without our notice and it is using our CPU and RAM in high percentage and making our PC slower so this is the very common reason why your PC gets slower because there are some bad softwares which can run in background and use your CPU and RAM and make your PC run slower so you have to find those softwares here using windows task manager and end them and if you can uninstall them you don't need those kind of bad software which uses your cpu and ram without your notice so that's how you use the windows task manager processes tab make sure that you are in processes tab so you got the idea so this is the first step to know how your cpu and ram is being used and how well your uh, PC is performing so you all you have to do is look at these numbers CPU memory disk and network you just have to look at these numbers if these numbers are going high above than 15 20 then something is wrong with your computer some bad software is running in background and taking your resources make sure that you check your background processes and softwares if there are any bad softwares you can uninstall them so this is the first thing what I do to make my PC run fast. I monitor my computer and you can also do the same steps and make your PC run fast. Now let's move on to the next step. So the next step is also within the Windows Task Manager. Now you just have to go into the Startup tab here. You can also explore other tabs if you want to. If you are curious, you can go and check all other tabs. But for now, we just need to go to the Startup tab here we have to disable all the background running softwares as you can see every single software here is disabled the software list you see here will run in background when you are restarting your computer or booting up your computer so when these softwares are enabled then they will slow down your computer when you're booting up and they will run in background so make sure that you have disabled unwanted softwares like for example you can see almost every single software in this list in my computer is disabled they will not boot when i'm restarting or opening my computer so there's only one software which is enabled windows defender antivirus this is the antivirus program if i want to i can also disable this it won't hurt my system i can right click and disable it even if you disable every single software here it won't affect your system your system will run much faster and smoother so but if you want to enable some specific software we, you can do that you can just right click again and enable it and you can do with every single software you see here this is the list of softwares which can run in background so make sure that you have selected few of the softwares which you want to run but if you can try to disable them it won't affect your system as i said so this is it as you can see my list every single software is just disabled because i don't want them to run in background and take my ram and cpu so this was the first step very important this is really important you just need to know about the windows task manager if you know how to use this then you know you will not have any problem so this is the first step and now let's move on to the next step next step is using a cleaning software so I use the jet clean software to clean my PC so we have to clean temporary files error files and registries to make our PC run faster if you use your computer for a long time your computer will make lots of temporary files lots of error files lots of registry errors so you need to clean them to make your computer run fast so i recommend you guys to use the any cleaning software you can use any cleaning software but my recommendation is jet clean because i personally use the jet clean software to clean my computer and uh, but if you want to get other softwares like c cleaner there are many cleaning softwares you can use but the jet clean software is free and lightweight so i prefer to use jet clean software if you want to get this i will put a link in the description you can go there and get the jet clean and if you want to use any other cleaning software then you can use feel free to use any cleaning software now let's open the cleaning software i'm gonna open my cleaning software which is jet clean and as you can see here jet clean and one more thing 
Almost every single cleaning softwares are same. You have to scan for errors and temporary files and after that you can clean those files. In every single cleaning software there will be scan button so you can scan for your temporary files and registries and all that kind of stuff. You can also do the settings in cleaning software. If you don't want to clean any type of temporary files or errors you can just uncheck that if you don't want to clean anything. Like here in Windows Clean tab, as you can see, some of the options are unchecked, some of them are checked. So if you don't know what you are doing, what you are cleaning, then leave the cleaning software settings default. Don't touch them if you, if you don't know what you are doing. Default will work just fine. And now you just have to click on scan now and wait for it to scan for errors and registries and temporary files and it will give us a result and as you can see now we have a repair option now we just have to click on repair and it will delete and repair all of the problem you have in your computer if you use the cleaning software for the first time you may see lots of problems listed in this cleaning software so i recommend you guys to use the cleaning software once a week i also use the cleaning software once a week so I can keep my PC clean and you know make my PC run fast you just have to click on repair now and it will fix the problem as you can see by yourself it is trying to fix the problem registry is fixed and now Windows clean is fixed as you can see there was actually 18 gigabyte of temporary files 18 gigabyte is really huge and you can see it also cleaned around 800 megabyte of RAM so it stopped some unwanted softwares and as you can see now we have a green text and everything is fixed so I recommend you guys to use this software once a week I'm not recommending you to use this just jet clean software you can use any software that you want the any cleaning software like C cleaner there are many cleaning softwares but uh, this is just my personal experience that I think the jet clean works just fine and it is free so I like to use the jet clean you can use any software so that's all I do to make my PC run fast there is no other secret to make your PC run fast and this was my personal tutorial and th this is how I keep my PC running fast and smooth now if you follow these simple steps you can make your PC run fast and smooth like a brand new PC and I think that's it if you wanna try the jet clean software I will put a link in the description you can go there and get this and hope you enjoyed the video and hope you learned something and yeah I will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye Shh.